Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, I'm going to show you how to enable the new file explorer inside the latest build from the beta channel, which is the build 22631.1972. As I've told you in the video that I've made presenting this new build for the beta channel, Microsoft has now started testing out the new file explorer along with all the new modernized elements inside the beta channel, but that is not enabled at the moment. Microsoft officially is testing out the new WinApp SDK for the file explorer, but by using Vive tool and enabling some hidden features, you can enable the new file explorer inside the beta channel. What I have to tell you from the beginning is that Phantom Ocean 3 discovered these IDs and also these hidden features. And another thing that I need to keep in mind is that this could be a little bit buggy. It is not that stable as it is in the dev channel. So if you're testing this out, do this at your own risk. But of course, you can always go back, disable all these IDs and so on if something is not working out for you. So if you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to TikTok base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. So let's begin with the video. First of all, as always, we're going to have to download Vive tool and, and set up it on our computer. Just go ahead and download Vive tool from the download link in the article below in the video's description. And of course, make sure to download the latest version. That's it. After you download it, of course, you can open it up using File Explorer, click on Extract All, click on Browse, and make sure you extract it into this PC, Local Disk C, Windows, and then scroll down to System32. Select it, click on Select Folder, Extract. In my case, I'm going have to replace the files in the destination, click on continue, and this is how easily you set up Vive Tool on your computer. If there are people here that don't know what Vive Tool does, well, basically, this is a script created by Albuquerque and Rafael Rivera that basically allows you to enable certain features in Windows 11 that are tested behind the scenes and not enabled for everyone. So, this is 100% safe and secure because you are only using elements that Windows is providing you. So, now after you set up Vive Tool, just open up the CMD, type in the search box CMD, right click on CMD, and then click on run as administrator. On user account control, of course, click on yes. Now in CMD, you're going to have to copy and paste in a few commands. These are the commands that will be also listed in the article below in the video's description, the first link. As I've said, these IDs and commands were discovered by Phantomotion3 on Twitter. We're going to have his Twitter link in the pinned comment below. Make sure to follow him if you want to learn more about features like these earlier than others. So you're just going to have to copy and paste in all these commands. The first command that we're going to enable is this one, and this will enable the new details pane inside the file explorer. The second command will enable the new recommended files inside the file explorer. The third command will enable the tab tear out or combine inside the file explorer, which is also a new thing. We also have the modern address bar, also the new gallery section inside the file explorer, the new home page as well, and also the recommended files for the home page. And these are all the commands that we're going to have to enable. After you enable all of them, you should receive the message successfully set feature configuration after each command, and then you can exit out from the CMD. And of course, you're going to have to restart your computer computer so that the changes will take effect. After the restart, if you will open up the file explorer, you'll notice that you have all the redesigned elements inside the file explorer. Of course, we have the new address bar with rounded corners, nice animations, new search box. We also have the new details pane that we can enable here, which looks very nice in my opinion. Of course, as you saw here, we have the new home page alongside with the recommended files, but that will only work if you have an active Azure account. So that's something a bit different. We also have the new gallery section, which looks very, very nice. And of course, the option to tear out or combine certain windows, tabs and so on. I think this is great. And of course, if we are testing out the new file explorer inside the beta channel, it means that we most likely will be able to see the new file explorer inside Windows 11 23 H2 later this year when it will be officially released by Microsoft. So if you have additional questions about this, make sure to leave them in the comments below on this YouTube video or on the website if you're interested in that. And of course, don't forget to follow Phantom Motion 3 on Twitter because he does a very nice job. Don't forget that the download link for Vive tool and also all the commands that I've used in this video will be in the first link from the description, the article from our website. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TickBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. Ozymane from TickBase, until next time, have a nice day.